We're going to start with a record high number of daily confirmed cases of COVID-19 here in Alabama. According to the state, we've now surpassed 310,000 total cases. More than 253,000 of those are confirmed and an increase of more than 3,500 since yesterday. We also added 41 more COVID-related deaths, the total now at 3,745. Total presumed recovery is now nearing 184,000. Testing still available at Legion Field in Birmingham as cases keep rising. City officials urging people to get tested, saying that there's a lot more work to do and they're encouraging everyone to follow safe protocols. Those working at Legion Field this week said they're seeing large numbers of people to come out. They've doubled in less than a month, now averaging about 110 a day, sometimes more. On the high days, it's 140, 150 even. We had one day where we saw that many. Dr. Reese Willis says that they're also seeing high levels of positivity in the test results, around 18 to 23 percent. The Legion Field testing site is open Monday through Friday from 9 to 4, but you need to schedule an appointment. Alabama reporting more than 2,400 COVID-related hospitalizations statewide today, an increase of more than 100 from yesterday. 175 of those at UAB as of this morning, a new high for the medical center. Well, for some, the fight against COVID-19 doesn't just last a couple of weeks. It can continue for months, if not longer. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough looks at the lingering symptoms of COVID-19. We are now nine months into the COVID-19 pandemic, and some people say they've contracted the virus more than once. We are continuing to review literature related to the potential for reinfection with COVID-19. Dr. Karen Lander says while there could certainly be cases of reinfection, she's more worried about what's commonly referred to as a long hauler. Or a person that has COVID-19 and this has persistent symptoms of COVID or ongoing symptoms after the time that they initially should have recovered from their illness. In some cases, the long haulers are people who have been hospitalized and needed critical care. In other cases, they are people who didn't require hospital care but still had lingering symptoms. Persistent cough, you know, persistent shortness of breath, persistent joint aches or muscle aches, and even some neurologic problems with COVID-19. Lander says it's important for anyone who has already had COVID-19 to keep monitoring their health closely and be aware of any symptoms that linger on, regardless of any future test results you may receive. And follow up with your doctor immediately if you're still experiencing any symptoms. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13. UAB, one of 15 hospitals in the state with doses of the vaccine. While some already started giving the first shot, UAB gave its first doses to five of its workers today. The medical center is the largest health care provider in Alabama. With about 11,000 doses to dole out, the full-fledged rollout is set to start tomorrow. More than 7,500 of those will go to UAB hospital personnel and other hospitals in Jefferson County. The remaining doses will go to clinical staff and emergency personnel. Nurses are playing a big part in administering the vaccine. The Alabama State Nurses Association has been having Q&A sessions to help educate their members. We are the front line, so we will be the ones receiving the vaccine, administering the vaccine, as well as educating about the vaccine. So um, our members are, are being educated now or having that opportunity. The Alabama State Nurses Association says there's been some concern about the vaccine, but they're encouraging nurses to get vaccinated as soon as it's available to them.